Okay, fifth graders, we're starting 9-3, and this is all about um, dividing uh, by a fraction and how it's related to uh, multiplication. And it is, it is related, and you're going to see that here in just a moment. Um, so uh, the first example they give us here, it says, if a bottle of liquid plant food contains three cups, how many plants will you be able to feed? And um, and here it says that in one uh, you're supposed to use one eighth of a cup per plant. So just think about this for a moment. Um, if it was just if you only had one cup, here's here's my cup. You just have one cup, and uh, it, it's full of the liquid, and you're supposed to use an eighth of a cup per plant. How many plants? could you give plant food to? Well, if, uh, if one cup equals eight over eight, because eight over eight equals one, one equals one cup, which is the same thing as eight over eight, one eighth of a cup would fit eight times one two three four five six seven eight two eights three eights four eights five eights finally eight over eight would fill the cup or empty it if you're using it um so it says how many eights are in three well remember there's eight eights in one so um, in two cups, there'd be 16. In three cups, there'd be, what do they have here? 24. And then it says, does this answer make sense? To 24 eighths equal three. Well, if, um, if eight goes into 24 three times and it does, then it, it, it would make sense. Uh, let's see here. The convince me, it says use the same numbers in the multiplication equation, 15 times 130 equals 5, to write a division equation. So 15 times 1 third equals 5. We know that's true, because 1 third of 15 is 5. So... Um, how could we write a division equation that would that would make sense? How about um, how about five divided by one third equals fifteen? Okay, notice that five times three equals fifteen. If we look at this problem here, the one we were talking about a moment ago. 3 divided by 1 8 equals 24. Again, notice that 3 times 8 equals 24. Then it says to draw a diagram to show that your division equation makes sense. Well, I guess you could um, you could draw um, I guess five boxes, one, two, three, four, five. Those aren't perfect, but like that last one was getting kind of small there. There's five. And if we divided those into, whoops, undo. If we divided those into thirds, Okay, now they're all divided into thirds. Um, let's see here. Do I have the right amount? One, two, three, four, five. I think that would work. Um... Two, three, one, two, three. 
three times, that'd be 15. Yep. 15 times one third does equal five. I had to think about that for a moment, make sure I was using my brain correctly. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, let's drop down a little bit here. Um, number one, it says, explain how to use multiplication to find four divided by one fifth. Um, well, it'd be f four times five equals 20. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something here. One, one way to, to look at this, if I wrote four divided by one, f whoops, divided by one fifth, Um, when the numerator is 1, all you need to do is multiply the whole number and the denominator and you'll get your answer. But there is another way to do it, and that is you would change it to multiplication and flip the fraction. In other words, this would become 4, and then I would change it to multiplication, and then flip the fraction to 5 over 1 instead of 1 fifth. And you know that when you multiply whole numbers by a fraction, you need to turn it into a fraction. Now if we went ahead and just multiplied straight across, like you've been taught, 4 times 5 is 20, 20 over 1, that's the same thing as 20. And so we get the same answer we get the exact same answer because 4 times 5 equals 20. And here we have the same answer. Now I'm showing you how to do it this way um, simply because this is going to come into play. You're going to have to know how to do that later on. In fact, very soon. But right now, the problems that we're dealing with, the, the numerator is always 1. We have 1 tenth, we have 1 sixth, we have 1 fifth. And so um, all you need to do is multiply the whole number um, by the denominator to get your answer. So, um, so it's 4 times 5 equals 20. And then number 2, it says show how to use multiplication to check your answer in exercise 1. Well, 20 times 1 fifth um, equals 20 over 5, which equals 4. How about number 3 here? It says find, one, find 3 divided by 1 tenth. Well, what's 3 times 10? That's 30. Now, if I was to do this the way I showed you here, it'd be 3 divided by 1 tenth. Okay, so um, I call this keep, change, flip. So I'm going to keep the three the same. I'm going to change the uh, division problem to multiplication and then I'm going to flip the fraction. So what does this become? It stays 3, but it's actually 3 over 1. I change it to multiplication, and then I flip it to 10 over 1. What's 3 times 10? That's 30 over 1, which is 30. And in this problem right here, I would just do 3 times 10, which is 30. So a couple different ways to look at it. So number four, it says draw a model to find two divided by one sixth. Uh, I'm not worried about a model. What's two times six? The answer is 12. Number five, it says use multiplication equation to check your answer to um, exercise four. Well, 
it's going to be 12 times 1 sixth, which equals 2. All right, let's move down a little bit here. Um, in 6 through 9, use the model to find each quotient or the answer to the division problem. Use a multiplication to check your answers. Well, let's look at the first one here, number 6. 3 divided by 1 fourth, which is the same as what? 3 times 4. That equals 12. How many do we see here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How about number seven? What would that be? Well, what's two times 12? 24. So you should be able to do eight and nine. And you can also do 10 through 12 here. It says draw a model to find each quotient. You don't need to. And I'm not even worried about using multiplication to check your answer. Just solve these. Just want you to solve these. How about number 11? What's four times eight? So um, four times eight is what? 32. Um, okay, let's drop to the next page here. Trying to make this um, not as complicated as, as they are. I, I think they make it more complicated, but that's me. I might be wrong. All right, model with math. Write and solve a division equation to find the number of one-third pound of hamburger patties that can be made from four pounds of ground beef. So each, so look at this. Each one of these here, I'm, I'm assuming, is represents one of the pounds of ground beef because there's four of them. There's four pounds, and we have four of them represented here. Four one pound, okay? And it says um, one third hamburger. So in one pound, you're going to find three thirds. Here's here's one third. Here's two thirds. Here's three thirds. So how many pounds of ground beef? or how many um, hamburger patties can we make? So it's four times one-third. What's four times one-third? The answer is 12. Uh, 14, write and solve a word problem for the expression eight divided by one-half. Um, just solve it. I'm not worried about a word problem. Number 15, use the numbers in the multiplication equation. 28 times one-seventh equals four to write a division equation involving division by a fraction. Um, how about four divided by one seventh equals what? 28. Number 16, um, they have two different how can you tell who's wrong without doing the, okay. I'll let you guys figure that one out. Just tell me who, just, let's see. Um, Sally and Timothy have two different answers to tell me. So who's wrong, who's wrong? Tell me who's wrong, Sally or Timothy. That's one, or what I wanna know. Don't guess. Number 17, a restaurant charges 350 for a slice of pie. That is one sixth of a pie and $3 for a slice that is one eighth of a pie. Oh my, here we go. One day they baked five pies all the same size. If they sell all the slices, would they make more money by slicing each pie into sixths or eighths? Ooh, that's, that's a complicated one. Can anybody do this? So think of it this way. Um... A restaurant charges three fifty for a slice of pie that is one sixth of a pie, but then they charge, then and then they do three dollars for a slice. It is one eighth of a pie. 
Um, so in this one, in the first one, the three fifty, three dollars and fifty cents for a slice. How many slices are in one pie? Well, there's six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if they make three fifty per slice, how much would they make for the whole pie? Now do the same thing for the one that's three dollars. So for this one, it's three dollars per slice. But the it's an eighth of a pie. So there's eight slices. So in one slice they make three dollars, but there's eight of them. How much would they make in that pie if they sold the whole pie? So once you've done those two, then you should be able to figure out if they sell all the slices, would they make more money by slicing each pie into sixths or eighths? That's the question. All right. Um, Okay, you can do 18, part A and part B. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Going to end the video. I'm over 15 minutes here. Got to end it. I will see you guys later.